Hello to you all. As the Minister for Education in Ireland, I want to welcome today as the first UN International Day Against Violence and Bullying in Schools, including Cyberbullying. The first Thursday in November each year is now designated as the International Day Against Violence and Bullying in Schools, including Cyberbullying. Irish schools are renowned for being safe and happy places, but sometimes instances of bullying do arise. We are all aware of the very serious impacts of bullying, preventing those affected from enjoying their school days and reaching their full potential. Today provides an important opportunity to raise awareness and to focus on the problem of bullying in schools at a national and international level and how we can work together to tackle it and eliminate it from school lives. Every instance of bullying in a school is a serious matter and is taken seriously here in Ireland, both by the school and government. Every school in Ireland is required to have its own anti-bullying policy in place that must be published and available to students and parents. Our education system plays a pivotal role in equipping children and young people with the knowledge and competencies to deal with the risks and challenges that they may face, including the risk of being bullied. All of our work aimed at tackling bullying and cyberbullying arises out of our belief and commitment to support and protect the rights of the child as set in the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child, ratified here in 1992. Through initiatives and resources and by listening to the voice of children and young people and working with them, I hope that today will bring a renewed focus on the problem of school bullying and the elimination of bullying from the school lives of all children and young people so that they can develop freely all of their talents and reach their fullest potential. Today affords us all an opportunity to shine a light on all that we are doing and will continue to do to eliminate bullying from the school experience of all our children and young people. Er